I'm here today to talk to you about hiding apps from Siri suggestions. These days, Siri loves to recommend things. Things like what apps to open. You can find it in the search spotlight, in a little widget, or even in the app library. Or Siri might recommend an action to take, a document to open, or a shortcut to run. These suggestions are based on situational factors, like when you use the app or how often. That's great, except it does make the assumption that you're using the app the way you want to be using it, and not that it's reinforcing some bad habits. But you can tell Siri to stop suggesting the wrong things, and to stop suggesting apps or actions that might be particularly annoying or send you to distraction land. If you've noticed that your search is particularly slow, reducing some of the apps that Siri is suggesting from might help speed things back up again. Let's take a look at how to hide an app from Siri suggestions and or search. We're gonna go into the settings app, down to Siri and search, and we're gonna scroll down to the suggestions. If you hate these suggestions, you can actually turn them off wholesale. I wouldn't and don't see the reason to do that because they can be really useful. But if you wanted to turn them all off and not think about it again, you can. But if you scroll down, you can actually adjust these settings individually. So if I went to Amazon, for example, Amazon sure would like to suggest that I buy things randomly. It may not be in my best interest to go down some Amazon rabbit hole buying whatever thing they think is a great idea. Maybe I wanna turn off those suggestions. Learn from this app, that is more nebulous. I wouldn't turn that one off unless you're very sure you don't want anything in Amazon interacting with anything else. This includes shortcuts. The first group of actions after that are while searching. So this is when you go into Spotlight and you are searching specifically for something on your device. Do you not want the app to show up at all? That's the first one. I don't usually restrict what apps can show up in my search, because I often use search as a way to quick launch apps that I don't know where they are on my phone or maybe I keep them only in my app library. Show content in search, that means that the search is going into the app to find information that might be relevant to you. If you don't need your iPhone search to look up an Amazon order, maybe turn it off. It could be looking up a lot of information that you don't want. If you wanna do that, great, but I figure if I'm really looking up an order, I'm gonna open the actual Amazon app. Below that is where it's actually suggesting the app itself. So this could be a suggestion on the home screen. That's usually gonna be in the form of a widget. So if you have a widget suggesting apps, can it show me Amazon if I've been on Amazon a lot lately? For me personally, Amazon's good at showing me fancy Star Wars things it thinks I need to buy, and my bank disagrees. So I don't usually let a lot of suggestions show up for Amazon. And if I've been on Amazon a lot lately, maybe that's a sign I need to not be on it, not a sign I need to be on it more. So I turn that off on the home screen, that's gonna be in a widget, or suggesting the app. That's going to be maybe in a search or in the app library, something like that. Suggestion notifications. This one is more nebulous. I don't know what it looks like. If I decide I'm only opening that Amazon app when I choose specifically to go open the Amazon app, then I don't want it showing up anywhere without my actually looking for it. It's a little bit like how I don't really wanna leave junk food out because if there's junk food left out, I eat it, even if I'm not craving it. It's just a thing that happens at the end of the day. But if I put it all hidden away, and I am craving chocolate and I go eat it, that is completely different from half a tin of cookies being gone just because they happen to be on the counter. I was craving it, I chose it, and I went and looked for it versus, oh, what happened to all the cookies? Not gonna go on Amazon and buy cookies. This way, it's able to learn from Amazon if I choose to let it do that, and it can show it in the search when I'm intentionally searching for Amazon. But if we look at it, Amazon's not being suggested to me. As a general rule, I only turn off suggestions once I've noticed it being an actual problem for me, or if I'm highly suspicious it could be a problem for me. An example of a really great suggestion might be if I open up my iRobot, that's the Roomba. If I let the robot go ahead and suggest, hey, do you wanna turn on Roomba right now? Or if I have it suggest, hey, do you wanna use this app? I might remember to vacuum sometimes, when I otherwise might not have. That seems like a great opportunity to use this particular app if it learns, hey, on Fridays, go vacuum. I know you can set a schedule on Roomba, but household arguments about that mean it's not a thing. I'm sure you've seen a lot of other suggestions like call so-and-so if you have a call scheduled or 
maybe join a particular meeting at a particular time. If that's the device you want to join those things from, that could be a really useful suggestion. In general, I do think these suggestions are getting better over time, but they have no way of knowing what are the things that I really shouldn't be doing. That's my job. But the great news is I can teach my iPhone. What are the things I don't want you suggesting to me? And now you can too. learning from is, I don't know if this is even worth saying.